Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Eric. If you're new, please subscribe. Today we're going to be installing Bride Zeta 4s in my Evo 9. Before we get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know I have a sale going on right now. It's end of summer sale on my merchandise, on t-shirts, stickers, and also face masks. You can check it out right here on this link. And I really do appreciate it. I'm pretty excited to get these installed in the cars. I've always wanted bride seats in one of my Evos and finally get the opportunity to do it. So let's get started on this. First, we're gonna unbox it. Guys, this thing is so nice. Carbon fiber. Oh my goodness. And it's got this fabric right here. Kind of mimics carbon fiber, but help grip you in the shoulders when you're going around the corners. Red leather. These things are super nice. It's got the sparkle back on it. I didn't opt for the carbon fiber. Been there, done that before. All right. See, it's got bride tag there. And then the actual manufacturer tag on it as well. These are authentic. All right, first thing we need to do is get the old seat out of the car and also undo the center console so that way I can get to the bolts. Now that we got the center console out, we just got to get these four bolts that bolt the seat down. They're 14 millimeters and the seat will come right out. Let's get to it. We have the stock Ricardo seat out. Now we can put the bride seat in. We just need to transfer over the buckle to the seat rail on the bride seat. Let's see the difference between the two here. The stock Ricardo seat, it weighs about 32 pounds, whereas the bride seat comes in at about 25 pounds. So a little bit of weight savings there, which is always a good thing. The seat comes with all the hardware that you need to mount the seat to the side brackets. So let's go ahead and get that done. These are the instructions that come with it. It's all in Japanese and I can't read it, but the pictures are pretty detailed, so I think I'll be able to figure this out.
All right, so that was a pretty rough go at it. It's definitely easier if you have somebody else to help you out with it, but um, we have it on for the initial test fit, so now all we have to do is put it in the car. Oh, that looks so sick in here. All we gotta do is get my position set and then put the center console back in and we're good to go. Oh, can't forget to install the buck. So everything's buttoned back up, we're ready for a test drive. This thing is super snug. I like the way it fits. It sits really low, so we'll see how that goes on the test drive. I like the way the interior is coming along in this vehicle. I mean, we spend a lot of time in our cars driving, so why not customize it and make it to how we like it? I do plan on getting an extra seat, uh, but right now, these are fresh off the container, and all of them were spoken for, except for this one, so I'll have to wait. What do you guys think about a harness bar or a four-point roll cage in here? Comment below, let me know what you think. All right, let's get this test drive underway. Test drive went pretty well. I think I'm gonna end the video here today, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you liked it, smash that like button and also subscribe. And don't forget, check out my website right here for all my merchandise that's on sale right now. All right, till next time.